Hello, thank you for joining me. This is our third film in our series, uh, How to Build a Basement in uh, Revit Architecture. This is going to be um, uh, relevant for the test that's coming up next week. So let's do this. What we've done is we've drawn our first floor walls, and with these first floor walls, we're going to use the geometry on our first floor in order to create the structure for our basement underneath. Just as demonstration, but typically you do the, the basement first and draw your first floor on top of that. So we're going to do this a little bit backwards, but show you how to, it's done nonetheless. Where we're at with the first floor walls, uh, what I used was my custom walls. And what we're going to be doing right now is putting some dimensions on these walls. So remember, to get to a vertical dimension, you want to click on one of your horizontal uh, lines that represent the wall there. And we're going to do that. We're going to make that a permanent dimension. And we're going to click on that dimension, and remember how we click on this grip? Click on it twice, or maybe once, it'll take you to the outside of that wall. And if it isn't quite where you want it to be, There we go. That looks right. If it is a card where you want it to be, then click on the wall that you first clicked on. That dimension becomes blue, which gives you the ability to modify or edit it. It becomes interactive in a way. So it's going to be 64 feet. So I'm going to want to get this horizontal dimension, so I'm going to go ahead and click on one of my vertical lines. That should be at 25 feet. Once we get to the finish face exterior by clicking on those grips. And because that wall is selected, I can go up here and type in 25 feet. And that should do it. We're going to make that a permanent dimension. And yeah, that's about where we're at. So let's go to the basement floor and uh, basement level and start doing some geometry on that. So what we like to do is we like to look at what's in the first floor in order to draw the geometry for our basement. Now if you don't have this, and I don't think you do, the default setting is going to be none. And the way you get that, what you want to do is you want to be able to see something that might be on a different level. And typically when you draw on one level, uh, it will look at the level below that, considering that you're probably building from the ground floor up, and you're able to uh, look at the geometry and use that geometry from the level below. But what we're doing is we're doing this a little bit backwards. We've already drawn on the first level, and we want to draw something that's below that on the basement level. To get that, if you go to your properties palette, scroll down just a little ways, and there's this uh, button over here called underlay. Right now it says none, because there's nothing below basement. But if you click on the first floor, it shows you the first floor. And it shows it to you in, in uh, kind of a grayscale. If you click on it, it gives you some geometry and whatnot. So the, the, the problem with doing it this way is it shows you, and we can change your visibility to graphics, uh, but we're going to stick with our default settings. And what we want to do is we want, don't want to necessarily look at the, uh, the finished face exterior, which is the these bold lines. This bold line on top is a finished face exterior for the outside, and this is the bold line is finished face interior on the inside of the house. So what we want to do is we want to do the core face exterior. You want to have the, the structure of the basement support the structure of the wall going up. So we want the, the core face exterior of the first floor walls to be coplanar with uh, the core face exterior of the walls uh, for the basement. And in the next video I will show you how to do that.